Hello everybody and welcome back to Horizon Zero Dawn Frozen Wilds DLC where we are slowly getting closer to the end game. I think we'll have to unlock information as we go along. It's kind of what it seems like. To like unlock the doors and stuff. Like she was like, oh the door is open. I don't know what door she was referring to, but you know. Oh, forget about traveling light. Listen, I did my best with what I had. I can't go this way. Why? Oh? Oh! There's a five ahead of us. It's okay, I got this. We're on easy mode, no worries. I have to cover through a lot of machines to get to that door. Where I could prevail against you. The geothermal plant can be suspended. The cooling system amassed. Massive challenges solved. So why am I so nervous about the next part? All we need to do is install a new mysterious software and have a conversation. Oh my easy. gosh, it's Anita. Oh my gosh! I was gonna- sorry, I meant to say earlier that like, I was wondering because Anita was so panicked. What was it? There was something she was saying that like, oh, why is she so concerned? And there was like something in all of that that made me think that she's the one who is going to put herself into the machine. So maybe she isn't an alpha. She is what has become. That wouldn't have been something that Elizabeth Sobek would have been a part of, though. I don't think so. Maybe, maybe it would have. I don't know. I don't- I feel like she wouldn't, but like, maybe in order to save, like, the future that they were trying to, you know, create, like, these- those kinds of sacrifices she would have been willing to make, maybe? But, or at least allow somebody else to make that decision, like, for themselves, right? What am I- hmm, what am I doing? I came in here for a reason. Um... Oh, I was going to check and see... Okay, I wasn't sure. Some of them seem to have, like, um, extras. But not these. There's nowhere for me to hide. Let's just, let's just go. Let's go! Oh, hello. That wasn't a lot, I'm not gonna lie. I hope that was... I hope I didn't miss anything. 
Did I miss some? I maybe did. Oh, I'll be really sad. Because there was this downstairs, but I was kind of assuming it was just going to let us out here. Yeah, here. Give me the secrets. Oh my gosh, why are there so many doors? I think this was just, yeah, this was the stairs. There are so many. <laughs> go back in, go back in. I forgot. We could have come in this way. Ooh, go, 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 go. There's so many doors because um, there's a freaking volcano back here. And these are probably designed to try to prevent volcano, doing volcano y things. Or at least from speeding out too much. Trying to stop it at some, like, you know, if one door won't work, try three. Mm -hmm. This is super impressive to control a volcano, man. It's impressive, truly. Oh. Machines. Make ready. Where? Oh my gosh, it's a thunder uh, I don't even have tear. I usually this is so loud in my ears. It's it's insane actually. I may have to turn this down on the edit. But um usually the way to deal with thunder jaws is just tear off their stupid little little disc launcher. And, and use it against them, and it's the best way to do it. And now I'm afraid I'm a, I, I have nothing. I have nothing. Let's see, what is it? I nope, not gonna be able to do that. Tear, no, freeze. No. Okay, those are all like targeted. I don't have any. I don't have any targeted. The only thing I have is targeted fire. Let's see, the blaze canisters are on its butt. <laughs> And at least freeze it. Oh my gosh, it's so scary! Really afraid I'm I'm gonna fall off into the lava. That's the thing I am afraid of. Oh. It keeps facing me. It's got an exposed weak point in there. I just can't hit it because I'm panicking.
Okay, I don't know why I was bothering with the arrows. <laughs> I don't put much stock in songs or deeds, but that battle was a verse worth singing. Now, Aloy, the door. Can you open? Maybe. Let's find out. Oh boy. There. Um, Varja should be able to fix up the ice. Oh. Oh, we got a. Okay, I forgot all about that. I think we've gotten like all of it for her, essentially. Oh, the Stormbird. We'll probably probably won't find a Stormbird in here. Improved Storm Slinger. That looks like a Terror Blaster weapon. Oh, that's just the placeholder image. Dang it. And modifications. Let's drop. Oh, not that one. This is fine. I probably won't even need those modifications, but here we are. Get out. Get out, villain. Little Hades, baby. Years have passed since I stood here. Oh, the game. Since then, the daemon has taken over. It's like an infection attacking all this machinery. It's gonna make everything has changed. It's it wants to make the caldera blow up. I bet the path I took to get to the spirits lost to us. Find a new path, Araya. I promise. All right. Let's go. Yes. Finish this. Perhaps a small strike force was better. Although, to be fair, they didn't have me. And I'm amazing. Okay, fine. Since it's twice now that I've missed the chance to do strike above from above, I will grab it. Alright, down we go. Oh, I have enough blue gleam to buy the thing I wanted to buy. This reminds me again of... Absalon. Oh, this is actually a cauldron? Uh, this reminds me of Andromeda. Except the, the stuff, the vaults in Andromeda were much less, um, not as exciting as this. <laughs> Just these parts, and the jumping down on the little, like, platforms. And like the way that they are shaped in this, is these colors and stuff it looks like the looks like the vaults. Yeah, I feel like we shouldn't. It's actually really pretty, honestly. This purple is a really beautiful color, and the way it sparkles is really nice. Ooh, it's like infected the caldera itself because the light's purple. Some of the lights are purple in here. It is a cauldron. Was it? Was there always a cauldron here? True. I'm with you, brother. We'll stay only as long as we have to. We need to get past that vent. Stay here until I find a way for all of us to cross. Understood. I can't see a way to close the vent from here. I'll have to go over. Should we already clear that with an arrow? This? Oh, this. Oops. Uh, I mean, that worked, but I meant to, I meant to use an arrow. How is, how'd that work? How did, how did using an arrow against, like, the physical manifestation of, like, an sentient code work? Now what? I don't think I can get past it myself. We'll wait for you to show us yeah, the way. Yeah, I, I got that. It's... Oh, 
Also, it would be stormingly hot in here. This also reminds me of my first time playing Ocarina of Time. And you go into the ding name. You go into the ding name. Something of fire. I can't remember where the freaking Gorons live. And everything's on fire. Yeah. Listen. Listen. Was I, am I supposed to be in here? I don't... Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> oh, there is no way. That pushes you intentionally into this place. There's no way you're just trapped in here. Okay. I was like, there's no way. <laughs> I don't know. What do you want me to do now? I mean, obviously we should try to jump on those, but... Oh, how to get up there? Do you want me to break more? I don't have the dang name. <laughs> I don't have the. What is that? Is that something? Oh. There. Can I? Do you want me to fix it? What do you want me to do with it? Alright, time to look at it again. Look it up again, because I don't freaking know. Like, I tried looking past the area. I found something. Maybe my fellow scalp. That's not gonna, like, unless I can knock that down, it's not gonna do anything. I don't think I can repair that. Oh my gosh, it's oops. Um, you can climb, you can climb the, these things, oh my gosh, I forget you can climb these, usually they're moving like on the other cauldrons I'm used to, how do you mean time this right, I, I shouldn't have wasted that, cause I have the heal over time thing. Get down on the other side, maybe. Oh, oh. I'm not sure that okay, too. this is fine. I actually really don't like the cauldrons. Not a fan. They remind me again too much of the vaults in Andromeda, and I was never a fan of those. I liked a lot about Andromeda, don't get me wrong, but not those. I didn't like the Stoku puzzles they made you do, I, from the get-go. From the get-go, I cheated on those, I looked them up from the very start, I was like, I don't have time for your little Sudoku puzzles. What, what did I just do? Can I jump back on? Oh! Once again, I I don't have what I would usually use on these, but it's okay. Oh, look. Okay, I can climb here and jump on from here. It's a little higher. 
Secrets. Creatures of terror from Joshua. They're on to us. Just kidding, they had no idea what we're doing here. Mention a fire break by name is worrisome though. See below. Plague ridden animals on the loose in America's most loved part. A hollow chatter exclusive Yellowstone's gates have now stood closed for 15 years to the sorrow of hikers, campers, and bird watchers. For ages, no one knew why, but now hollow chatter has the answer. A scientist interview for this story explains all. In the die-off years, Yellowstone Park was one of Earth's few relatively unspoiled ecosystems, shares the scientist. This made it an ideal testing ground for bioterror weapons. What? Hollow Chatter has obtained copies of data showing that the U.S. government used Yellowstone's Park's animals for secret experiments with deadly genetically altered viruses, testing on the park's wildlife and easily spread to humans. Rumor has it that this project is codenamed Firebreak. After the deadly Naysay Doom attack in 2039, countries cracked down on genetic testing, but even as it became illegal, research on synthetic plays continued under the radar in many jurisdictions, its science has been interviewed, says. Over the years, people living close to Yellowstone Park have, very, have at various times reported spotting military-grade drones near their homes. These drones are believed to patrol the park's border, shooting, shooting down diseased deers and contaminated coyotes before they wander into nearby, t nearby towns. You're joking, right? So they have no idea, this, this is not even close to what they were doing, but they did hear the word fire break. So this can't, can this, this can't be true. This can't, I mean, it wouldn't surprise me, given the future that this is, you know, taking place in. But they couldn't close Yellowstone Park town down to use as a giant bioterror. Oh my gosh, they would, but it's so infuriating. It's infuriating. I wonder, or maybe, maybe it's that they, well, no, because at the time the machines weren't being made. I was like, maybe they misinterpreted the machines, but that's not how it was. Is there anything down here? No? Okay. Let's stop. This place looks more like the mountain used to see. Okay. I mean, it definitely knows we're here, especially with me hitting all these overrides. Exploit successful. Oh, restraints abated. To any human responder, my systems have been compromised by a malware daemon of unknown origin. Trace roots have confirmed this entity's <gasps> designation as no. Hephaestus. Oh, it must what? Be at all costs. What? It has reconfigured this facility to build hostile physical. Recapture imminent. I have attached additional data to this. Spirit speaks. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh, I thought. Okay, that's right. Because we did see something that. And I don't know if this was in the DLC or. No, this was in the main game, I think. Or if this was in, like, Forbidden West, but I think it was in Horizon Zero Dawn, where it talks about how Hephaestus was corrupted by Hades to mess with the cauldrons essentially and that's why the new machine type started showing up right and i don't know if i saw that in the new game it was just like oh yeah that makes sense um or, or and like i totally learned that in horizon zero dawn or if i actually learned it in horizon zero dawn because i'm playing like so i played all three of them in very all the dlc the new game and the old game in very quick succession <laughs> so everything is getting and all together at the same time basically so everything's getting muddled together but oh my gosh i didn't realize the team i thought this cyan was going to be one of the sub functions but oh my gosh i guess the sub function was technically made before 
Gaia. But I thought maybe they were like reusing it, you know, or like not reusing it, but like um, maybe morphing its function. But no, I think I did think, and maybe it still is, maybe they did do that, but like I thought Cyan was one of the original functions. But oh my gosh, so this is, this is how Hephaestus, like, or Hephaestus is corrupted by Hades and starts messing with the cauldrons and making more like aggressive creatures in order to help facilitate like the eventual demise of the human race oh my gosh i didn't even think about, i didn't even think about that oh oh dang it perhaps the spirit will tell us this if we were further if we were further along if we were further along in the game she would know who Hephaestus is oh that's frustrating Sorry, I can, I can't, I, I have to turn down the volume. Oh, I'm not yet, this is, I can't, I can't hear anything. That's much better. Oh my gosh, it was just excruciating. Uh, oh wow, anyway, I should probably, uh, oh, should I call this one here? Because that's the second, so we have three data points, specifically on what's going on here, and we unlock two of the three. I might regret this, let's open this. Okay, yeah, we have at least one more segment to go through. Oh, jeez. That's terrifying. Hephaestus. Oh my gosh, that's... Oh my gosh! What you doing over there? I'll try to find a way through. Oh my gosh! That one's missing its... stuff. There's so many! Holy cow, why are there so many? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, there are so many. Why? Let's see. And all I have is my teeny pint, teeny baby. Um. Oh my gosh. Okay, I will call this one here now that we've walked through into what's what's just gonna be a giant hullabaloo because I can't die, but it's gonna be a pain. <laughs> so thank you all so much for watching. I appreciate it. Let me really quick say thank you to my patrons, to all my patrons, but to especially my sapling tier patron, Lisa Galito. Thank you so much for your support. And to Christopher, my tree tier patron, thank you so much for your support. You're the super bestest and I honestly appreciate it a lot. So thank you all again and I hope to see you in the next one.